So guys, if you remember a few months back, United Airlines ordered 14 of the 787-10 Dreamliners. Now these planes will primarily be replacing their older 767s and the 777-200 aircraft. And in terms of deliveries, while well, they're expected to take the first three of the planes later on this year, with plans to introduce them on flights in early 2019. Now it's not exactly clear where the planes will fly from, but after doing some digging around, it might be from one of their hubs in Newark. Now we know that the 787 family is a phenomenal piece of engineering, and every other order seems to be for the Dreamliner family. Now currently the airline has 37 of the planes already in their fleet and these planes fly some pretty long routes such as Sydney and Singapore for example. But in terms of the 787-10, I wanted to discuss as to where the planes will be utilised by the airline and what kind of seating configuration we can expect. So the CEO has already said that they'll be using their planes from their bases in Chicago, Newark and Washington and they'll primarily be used on European routes. Now the Dash 10 is a great plane for high density routes, where airlines don't really need the additional range of either of the smaller variants, but they're seeking improved economics. So we can disregard the ultra long haul routes like Singapore, China and Australia for example, because they're already served by the Dash 9. So the characteristics of the Dash 10 really fits well with the transatlantic market. For example, the busy routes between Chicago and Frankfurt is around 3,700 nautical miles, whereas the range of the Dash 10 is listed at 6,400 miles. Now, earlier on this year, they launched new international routes from the hub in Newark to various destinations in South America. Now, this is a very popular destination hotspot for American carriers due to its European influences. Now, although these kind of flights are not ultra long haul, Coming out just under 11 hours, it's a popular route with a good enough competition. Now from the New York area, United Airlines will be competing with the American Airlines 777 er and Aerolineas with the A330-200. So considering that these routes will be high density, the utilization of the 787-10 on these routes will be rather beneficial. Also the Dash 10 in my opinion is perfect for Newark. It's a major transatlantic hub to Europe with multiple flights a day to London Heathrow. We also know that United Airlines will fit the Polaris seating on every flight, so the quality gap between them and the competition on these routes will be closed significantly. Now in terms of seating configuration, they'll configure their planes with 318 seats, which is a 15% jump from their previous 276 on their Boeing 777-200s. So a breakdown of this will be 48 business class seats, 21 premium economy, 45 extra legroom economy and 208 standard economy seats. So all in all, United Airlines will be operating 55 787s before the first A350s arrive. The 787-10 fleet may be small, but there is flexibility with the smaller 787s to move things around. There's no doubt about it that the role of the 787-10 will be limited and it will only stay at a few hubs, but since the Dreamliner family shares the same parts and crew, the 787 has the potential to be moved around. The plane also has enough range to fly some of the shorter trans-Pacific routes if needed. So there you go captains, I hope you all benefited from this video. I mean, I was very curious to know where United Airlines would fly the plane, so hence the video. And also, the 787-10 is absolutely gorgeous. Now captains, if you have any opinions or thoughts, then do share them in the comments below and I'll be happy to look at them. If you enjoyed the video then give it a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you guys very soon.